Hello everyone, I am going to share about Angular 17 new feature. Basically, this is the great feature Angular team introduced. That's called server side rendering, also known as the SSR. Server side rendering is a process that involves rendering the page on the server. And why use SSR? Uh, the main advantage of SSR as compared to the client side rendering. Uh, that is uh, improve the performance of the application and improve core virtual and better SEO that is the main core functionality that causes using the SSR uh, better SEO SSR can improve the search engine optimization of the web application by making it easier uh, for the search engine to crawl and index the content of the application that is the reasons using the SSR and helping the applications to improve the performance let's see how to enable the SSR in your angular 17 application uh, go to your project directory open the terminal window Uh, I am going to create a new project using Angular 17. Uh, let's type ng new and project name demo SSR. Demo SSR is basically my project name. And <coughs> now press on the enter. It's taking some time, so get pressing on the If you have not installed Angular 17, uh, please install before we start this one. See here is the uh, options uh, for the CSS. So CSS is selected, so I can click on the enter. Now uh, see here, do you want to enable server side? Do you want to enable server side rendering and static side generation? This is the basically the feature that Angular 17 uh, introduced. Uh, if you type S, that means all the server side rendering uh, feature enable. See here, installing the packages. So, just after some. So, it's taking B time, please take patience. You can see uh, here is the files are created. In this file, you can see here the app.config.server.ts file created. There is basically we can configure the server. Uh, here is the component. Uh, in uh, I, I, you, I, in the set uh, in the Angular 17 basically the angular team introduced uh, the standalone component by default in the previous version uh, i think with the version 14 uh, they was not the default component as a standalone but right now in angular 17 they created the component default as a standalone is also true in for this reason the app.module file will not create it once you create the package is installed successfully now come to demo ssr cd demo ssr now <coughs> open the code thus we create code dot open the this code see here is the src folder and app folder in the app folder you can see here the app.config file in the app.config file these are the configurations and the route file here 
basically in the angular uh, 17 routing concept will uh, change because the, uh, all the component working as a standalone so uh, I will uh, share a link how to create the routing in angular 17 so I will put uh, in the below comment you can see the uh, video how to route see here is the uh, app.config.server.ts you can see here the provider server rendering the server rendering providers created so you can set up this one uh, let's click on the terminal click on the new terminal press the folder type ng so open it's taking some time yes <coughs> now you can see the global setting enable local setting enable effective status enable and building the application after that it will create the uh, server local it will take good time to take the patience say here uh, the default port uh, 4200 is created here and open by default yeah. see here is uh, open the default application with uh, with your SSR setting I hope uh, understand about uh, what is the SSR and why use SSR in English 17 uh, thanks for watching the video please uh, put any query if you have in your comment box so i will try to reply you and if you need any other uh, video then i can also provide thank you thanks for the watching